Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and I talk a lot about personal finance and investments. In this video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you a new Airbnb that I'm putting together. Guys, it's been more than two years since I've had a new Airbnb. The pandemic has really hit me bad. I'm finally getting back up on my feet again. And in this video, I wanted to share with you how it looks like upon turnover, managing this for a friend, and what are the fixings that I'm going to be doing. This condo is pretty put together as it is, but it's not yet Airbnb ready. So for those of you who are wanting to put up an Airbnb, watch this video for you to see what are the things that you can do and perhaps just tweak for a unit that you have or maybe something that you are looking at. Let's go. So this is a 44 square meter unit. It is bi-level and as you see, it's just semi-furnished but it has the appliances in place, all the essentials that you would practically need for an Airbnb. I'm just going to be touching it up and putting in a few more appliances just to make it more complete. Similar to my own condo that I shared with you in a previous video a few months back. This also works with the same living room slash kitchen setup. So let's make our way up. As we get up, there's the bathroom here on the right. So as you get up, this is the bedroom. So the thing with this bedroom is that it doesn't have a door as you see. So I don't think I'm going to be putting in an actual door. This isn't my own unit, so I don't want to do any permanent fixture. So what I'm probably going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in at least a small curtain rod just so that this room can actually have some division this place actually looks like it gets warm it's in the corner and it's a lot of windows i may need that curtain just so that we could keep a little bit of that coldness the electric bill might get too high um, that's something that i have to keep in mind of you see here that the ceiling is actually made up of sort of like a cork office finish um, I'm not a fan of that, but as I mentioned, I'm not going to be doing any renovations that are too big. So I'm going to keep the ceiling as it is, even though it looks like an office. But what I'm going to be doing is actually I'm going to put in some more lamps so that it has a little bit of coziness. The bathroom is pretty standard. It just needs some cleaning, but it looks like I'm going to have to use a shower curtain for here. And I'm considering if I should put a table here but yeah, I'm really working to do with as little fixing up as possible. So um, let's see what this ends up and let's see. guys it's about one week later it actually just took me a few days to fix up this place one of the reasons why I agreed to take this unit would be that it was almost Airbnb ready so anyway let me take you on a tour when you enter so this place that was pretty much underutilized before now has a sofa bed so this sofa bed opens up it can sleep one maybe one adult and one child if I could take in more guests on Airbnb then that's actually better for my wallet. And we move here to the left side. So this would be the kitchen slash dining area. This unit actually comes with this small sort of bar area. So let's quickly walk here to the kitchen area. So this is actually one of the main features of this unit. My own unit as shared with you in that previous video actually has great views, but this unit even has a better view of PGC and if you look far up to the east, you can actually see Laguna de Bay. It's a little hazy right now. There's a lot of smog. On a very clear day, you can actually see the mountains of Rizal. So one of the things that I moved around was to put the sort of coffee nook um, in this area. So you could be having coffee for two here. You, you could be reading a book. And that's one of the things that I like about this place. It's one of the more unique features about this place. Alright, so let's move on. So the kitchen is pretty standard. 
I didn't really fix up anything. I just bought some additional pans and pots. So one of the things that has been some challenge about this place is that the owner really used a lot of black. When done very well, it's quite very artistic. But I think where this unit fell short of in terms of its primary renovation was that the black paint that they use is a little matte in terms of finish. I think when you're going to be using a lot of black, it has to be very sleek, very glossy. It does tend to stain quite a bit. So do keep that in mind when you're using black in your fixtures or renovations. That's why I really put in a lot of more neutral colored tones so just beige and camel. I think on camera, it's starting to look a little pinkish. So walking back to the living room, that's why I also put in a lot of color. In the staircase, I put this neutral abstract painting. Really cheap ones that you can buy anywhere, any department store. So let's head on up. When you get up, so pretty standard bathroom. What I like about this bathroom, you have your view of PGC here. So let's step out of the bathroom. So what I put in is just a simple curtain. One of the main concerns as an Airbnb host would be electricity bills. You could actually make or break your business with your electricity bills. I told you earlier that the owner seems to have some fascination with black. So what I put in would be Again, neutral colors, just to break the monotony, just to give it a warmer feel, especially for the bedroom. I'm using the same color scheme as the painting in the ground floor area and the pillow. So a little bit of blue, a little bit of teal, a little bit of green. I'm using a lot more beige as seen here, a little bit of light brown camel textures, just so the place has more hominess and warmth to it. I shared with you, this place has great views if you open it up you just have a massive view here of BGC. Again, same view as downstairs. So let's open it all up. So this is how it looks. This is what you could be waking up to if you were to rent this place as an Airbnb. There's just so much to see from this perspective. All right, guys, do you want to Airbnb this place? If you want to, I'll share my link down below. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys, and happy Airbnb-ing.